it's JC1424 once again with F1 2009 for the PSP. And this is going to be a 10th anniversary Let's Play because this game was released on November 16th, 2009, which was 10 years ago today, 2019. I found this game in my sophomore year of high school because I wanted a Formula One game and this was the last one that they ever released. And um, Codemasters is still releasing Formula One games and they are a lot better than this one. But because it's the PSP game, I've got a soft spot for it. The steering is all kinds of jittery and wonky, but I, I just love this game. Because for PSP, it's got some pretty darn good graphics. Uh, physics, not the greatest, but I mean, to be honest, this game is better than NASCAR PSP. I'll give you that. But I still play NASCAR PSP more because I'm so in NASCAR. But uh, this is my first time playing a Formula One game on the channel. So that's, uh, that's awesome. So we're going to go into championship mode, of course, for a championship Let's Play. And we're going to select New Championship. Don't have one in here already. Here are all the settings. Put on Custom. 10% of Full Race. Hard Difficulty, which is the highest one. Vehicle Damage on. You'll use some Tire Wear. Variable Weather. It's not always going to be raining or anything like that. But it, it can at some times. Um, maybe like four or five uh, races in the season. It could be more than that. I don't know. Sometimes it'll just happen in the middle of the race. And you already see it's coming because it's like a, a gloomy day. But most of them are sunny days. And we have some night races here, too. Uh, component failure, you're going to have that off because I don't want to be like Dirt to Daytona where I'm just racing all of a sudden something just stops working. But usually this applies to if you have like your foot on the gas pedal too long before it goes green because everyone does that. Um, that's happened to me before. And penalties, I'm going to turn that off and try to not race badly because penalties can apply to just little bits of contact. And then there's relaxed, but still, I, I can't even handle relaxed. So I'm just going to do the best I can to not cut the course all the time. If I do cut the course, it'll probably be like little bits if I do cut it aggressively and pass him by or some crap, then I'll try to, you know, give that position back or just, you know, let off a little bit so, like, I don't entirely just cut the course. Something like that. And confirm. That's all the settings for the championship. We're going to be racing as the greatest driver of all time in Formula 1, and that is Lewis Hamilton. I am just kidding. That is not the driver I'm racing with. I am racing with my favorite driver, Sebastian Vettel. He became my favorite driver because of a cameo appearance with Gran Turismo 5 whenever they released the Red Bull X 2010. Of course, he drives the Red Bull car. Now he drives the Ferrari car, and I think he actually won Monaco this year, and I was so freaking happy. I thought it was last year. I'm losing track of time, but, oh gosh, I was so happy to hear that he finally won a race like that. And for the first race of the season, we've got Melbourne. Um, it's been the first race of the season for, I think, 30 years now? S somewhere around there? I think that's a good estimate. It's going to be a five-lap race because, you know, 10% race length. And if you put it on 100%, the full length, you get like uh, a, an hour and 30-minute races on average. But we're not going to do qualifying or practice. We're just going to do like a last of first or what I do in these other NASCAR games. Or maybe they'll just start us out randomly. I think that's what they do in this game. Usually like somewhere in the back. But we're probably going to pass a bunch of cars in the first corner anyway, so that's probably why. I just want things to be challenging. Um, I don't know if like they have consistent drivers either, so we might find ourselves you know, just winning by consistency. And I don't know how many races we're going to win, but some tracks I find easier than others. And I've raced at this track many times because it was the first one in the game, and this was like my first time playing the game, so I had to race here a lot, restarting races and crap. Oh, yeah, that's right. you got to pick the tire strategy. I have got to remember that. Uh, I think for my strategy... Uh, we're going to go two laps on the soft tires, and then we'll go three laps on the hard tires. Because we can use soft tires to really take advantage of the competition in the first few laps, and then things will be spread out. I'll be used to the tires that are worn down, and the hard tires are obviously, they last longer, but they are less grippy from the start. Okay, now let's get into it. This Melbourne circuit utilizes the city streets surrounding Albert Park Lake. Despite being held on a public route, the track surface is smooth and fast. There are few passing straights, so take your chances where you can. Take my chances where I can. That is not the kind of advice you want to give to someone who takes every opportunity to pass in a sharp corner. Unless they get like a run and straight away. Well, here's the starting lineup. Let's see exactly where they're putting us. I don't know if they put us in 18th all the time or... Okay, 17th. Because I did like a, a practice run. They put me in 18th, but 17th it is. Where exactly is that on the track? That's what I would like to know. Okay, so it's like kind of outside of the first corner. Well, we're green for the first race of this 10th anniversary Let's Play. I'm already using DRS or whatever, this some kind of boost. I'm just trying to run everybody over. 
make up a bunch of positions in this first corner. We're already in P6. So we from P17 to P6. It, the first corner. Okay, the crew chief talks all the time. I gotta turn that guy off, because I can't deal with that all freaking season long. I am all up this guy's bumper. I'm right behind him. We make an overtake, and he lets me by. And just keep on tracking him down. I'll give you a view of, like, the track for, like, the first full lap. But I don't think I'm going to make any cuts during the race, because I want you to see the whole thing. It's a short race after all, so you can see all the action and all the, the just the, the raw footage. Yes, the, the steering looks all kinds of wonky. I know. It's, it's a PSP game. I'm steering with directional pad. Yes, it calls that an unfair advantage. Like, it doesn't matter how much I cut that, that curve specifically. It always does that. I remember that very clearly whenever I first got this game. So many hours just taking that turn and getting unfair advantages and never getting an actual lap in. Uh, I'm good at turns where they have the rumble strips visible, but if it's like the same color as the track, I tend to just completely miss it. Head into this corner. I'm going to make this pass. Uh, well, I was thinking about it, but I wanted to give him room, so I had, I had to let him have it back. We're still P5, so we're still having a really good run. Okay, we're coming up on the, the end of the lap. Gosh, I was way too far to the right right there, and I got stuck in the grass a bit. Okay, we'll still see if we can track down uh, Nico Rosberg in P4. I'm going to focus. They're going to give us the DRS back, or the boost, whatever. I mean, I don't know if that's DRS or not. Yes, I know. Let's go ahead and activate this thing. Okay, let's not use it too much. I'm going to overdrive this next corner. Ugh, lack of accuracy with my steering. With soft tires, it makes this corner easy. Some of these corners will be very difficult on hard tires, I'll tell you that much. So, it makes me wonder if I should just soft tires for three laps, but I'll probably just burn them up in the last lap of the race. Or the last lap of the run, is what I should say. We're gaining back on them, and these next couple of corners are like my best right here. I always gain a lot. Probably because I cut the track and crap, but you get it. Like, there you go. Oh, oh, it didn't say I got an unfair advantage. Great. Where am I get the unfair advantage, though? Like, it's, it's got to happen somewhere. Oh, slip streaming. We're, we're getting that draft. Okay. I'm trying. I'm right there behind him, and then if we get past him, we probably have a draft on, uh, I don't know, some Ferrari. I don't know who it is. I'm about to find out. There we go. That is, uh, oh, it's, is that Felipe Massa? Because sometimes he does bad, sometimes he does good. Because last time I played this game, he was finishing like crap. I mean, he is kind of like a one of the, the good veteran drivers in Formula 1. But uh, he, me, and a bunch of people probably going on pit road at the end of lap 2 on the same strategy. They go really slow into pit road. So I'm going to pass them before the white line, and the game's okay with that. It, it's just like, they, they slow down way before the line, so I'm just going to Wait way to the line. There's no speeding penalties for pit road. Now we've had a, a really good lap. Pit stop. I guess they're still refueling. And we're, we're, we're waiting for people to pass us. I don't know if we had to wait for an extra five seconds, though. We got the tires changed, and then uh, it's a longer into the race. Because now we're going for the longer run. The next three laps. Already used some of the DRS. But, um, yeah, we're on the harder tires now. So... It's, it's going to seem as if we're on more and more tires than we were a while ago. Just We're really lacking grip now. I have to brake a little bit earlier for every sharp corner on this track. And nothing really changes for the wide corners. And, and of course, you got people that come up behind me because they haven't pitted yet. And uh, they're probably at the back of the field. I had that people that, um, that were just right next to me whenever we took our pit stops. They might be on the fresher, the fresher tires. The softer tires instead of the hard ones, so things might have changed up a bit. Who knows? Well, I didn't consider that an unfair advantage. Is in for his stop. That is my teammate. Uh, something Weber. Bill Weber? I don't remember what the hell his name is. Oh, goodness, I hate that curve. And Jensen Button behind me. Oh, great. That would... It'd be great to finish from a Jensen button because he's like the best damn driver in this game. Believe it or not, Lewis Hamilton is actually not that good in this game as far as I'm concerned because I've seen him do absolutely terrible half the damn time. Oh man, I'd go to that corner full speed if I want to. Good third lap of the race on our new hard tires. We got two to go this time by. Now this is where all the other guys took their pit stops. We're passing them on, you can see on the map in their pit stalls. And looks like we're not going to interfere with traffic off pit road with this guy in front of me, so that's good. 
Okay, I'm surprised he didn't give me the red thing at the top of the screen right there, because that was just, that was disgusting. That was a big mess. I'm in P2? Holy crap! Can I win this race? Well, I can't win the race if I'm crashing into the orange bench marks, but... Uh, Kimi Raikkonen, okay. Sebastian Vettel versus Kimi Raikkonen. This is gonna be great. I don't know if, uh, Sebastian Vettel had won a race yet in his career whenever this game came out. Maybe, considering he's driving with Red Bull and they're a well-established racing team. But, um, if, if not, because, you know, I don't know that much about facts with F1 drivers, I could be getting Sebastian Vettel, his first one of his career, to start off the Let's Play. I didn't come in here expecting to win this race at all, because I haven't played this game in a long time. I warmed up a little bit, but I hadn't raced this track yet. Ugh, I sure as hell can remember the track. The freaking track is turning me. God dang it. Well, it's not an unfair advantage, but... The, the straightaway does this thing where towards the end of it, it's like it turns my car. And the track's not turning, but the pavement, it... I don't know. Uh, we're coming up on the last lap, and I'm not really gaining on Kimi Raikkonen that much. I'm trying to push in the last lap. I'm going to have to focus. That was a good corner. Oh, okay, I see the gain. He's right in front of us right now. Well, that's an exaggeration, but he's, he's in front of us. We're, we're gaining a little bit. Let's see what I can do. You're in second. Final lap. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. That's twice in a row, actually. Come on, man, we're gaining. I don't think it's going to happen. Like, we're, it's just such a large distance. I mean, this next couple of corners are my best ones on the track, so maybe we'll catch a sniff of his slipstream. Oh, golly, it, that, that is a huge gain. It's just, it's still a ways to go. Uh, I've been decent in this next turn. Just got to not over or under drive it. There we go. Come on. Come on. I can make this happen. Do I have it yet? Oh, I think I got it. I think I got the draft. Oh, don't hit him. Don't hit him. Don't do this, JC. This is not NASCAR. Ugh, I'm trying. I, just, I don't know if he's going to hit the brakes right there or not. Gosh, I'm right behind him. Oh, my God. I mean, it's exciting, but I was right behind him! Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Well, Kimi Raikkonen wins the first race of the season. I can't be embarrassed. I got P2, and I wasn't even knowing sure if I was going to get a freaking podium. Oh. Well, that, that... That's automatically one of the most memorable moments of the year, because it happened on the anniversary of this game's release ten years ago. And... It was an exciting race. Um, you know, I had my silence. I don't know if it was awkward with me not talking about racing. You could see my intense face of focus. But, uh, just by a little less than half a second, and Jensen Button was like four seconds behind me. And he was right behind me after uh, our pit stops. So, I really pulled away from him. Gosh, I was on it. Uh, where did everybody else finish? We got Nico Rosberg finished P4. Barrichello finishing P5. Uh, Alonzo, 6th. There, Lewis Hamilton finishing in 11th. Uh, my teammate finished in 7th, yeah. One last thing before we finish off this video, I want to tell you guys just how infatuated I am greatly with this game's soundtrack. It is just mwah, delicious. I mean, I'm sitting here at the menu just so many times with my PlayStation Portable listening to it for several minutes on end. It, I just love it. The, the symphony and the percussion and the horns. I think I like some synthesizers in there in the background too. I don't know. Man, I remember the first time I got this game and before you start a game it has the music playing in the background before you even like boot it up. And it was just playing that music and I was like, I was so excited. I was so excited to get this game, to just have a Formula One game, my first time playing one. And this is the only Formula One game I have ever played. I wish I had won this. It would make it that much better, but Kimi Raikkonen, I think Kimi Raikkonen was a little bit better than Sebastian Vettel, to be honest, at the time. But man, I just got a soft spot for Sebastian Vettel. And now, I've got a good spot for him, because he's actually a damn good driver. Well, thanks for watching the first episode of this 10th anniversary of Let's Play. And it's the first episode, and it's a PSP video of a game that no one really plays that much. So, 
I think this is going to get a lot of views, and it's going to deserve it, because that finish was just so damn good. See you next time, that's that, and episode over.